Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will discuss cubes. Let's see what are perfect cubes or cube numbers. The numbers obtained when a number is multiplied by itself three times are known as cube numbers or you can also say perfect cubes. Now we have that 8 can be written as 2 into 2 into 2. We have multiplied 2 to itself 3 times so as to get 8. So we say this 8 is a perfect cube. Then again the number 729,000, 1728 are also perfect cubes. Then we have cubes of even numbers are even and cubes of odd numbers are odd. For if you consider the even number 4 now its cube is 64 which is also even. Thus we say that cube of even numbers are even. Now let's consider odd number 5. Its cube is 125 which is odd. Thus we have cubes of odd numbers are odd. Consider this table. If the units digit of a number is 1, then the units digit of the cube of the number would also be 1. If the units digit of a number is 2, then the units digit of the cube of the number would be 8. Then units digit of a number is 3, then the units digit of the cube of the number would be 7. Units digit of a number is 4, then the units digit of the cube of the number would also be 4. If the units digit of a number is 5, then the units digit of the cube of the number would be 5. Then, if the units digit of a number is 6, then the units digit of the cube of the number would be 6. Then we have units digit of a number is 7, then units digit of the cube of the number would be 3. If the units digit of a number is 8, then the units digit of the cube of the number would be 2. If the units digit of a number is 9, then the units digit of its cube would be 9. Then if the units digit of a number is 0, then the units digit of the cube of that number would also be 0. Now we discuss some interesting patterns. First we have adding consecutive odd numbers. Observe this pattern of sums of odd numbers. Now consider the first line of this pattern which is 1 equal to 1 equal to 1 cube. Now as you can see to obtain the sum as 1 cube, we need one odd number and that is 1. Now observing the second line of this pattern, you see that to obtain the sum as 2 cube, we need two consecutive odd numbers and that is 3 and 5 which is equal to 8 that is 2 cube. Then according to the next line of this pattern we have that to obtain 3 cube as the sum we have added 3 consecutive odd numbers 7, 9 and 11 so as to get 27 which is 3 cube. And this pattern goes on in the same way. So if we are asked that how many consecutive odd numbers we would need to obtain the sum as 10 cube, then our answer would be 10 consecutive odd numbers. 
So if we are asked the number of consecutive odd numbers needed to obtain the sum as 10 cube, then we would simply say we would need 10 consecutive odd numbers so as to get the sum as 10 cube according to this pattern. Next we discuss cubes and their prime factors. Consider the number 4. Its prime factorization is given as 2 into 2. Now consider cube of 4 which is equal to 64. Its prime factorization is given as 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. That is we have multiplied the prime factor 2 by itself 6 times. We could also write this as 2 cube into 2 cube. That is each prime factor appears 3 times in its prime factorization. Thus we say that if in the prime factorization of any number each factor appears three times then the number is a perfect cube. Let's consider the number 400. Its prime factorization is given as 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 5 into 5. Now let's make triplets of these prime factors. So this is one triplet. Now as you can see the number 2 is left alone and this 5 into 5 is one pair. It is not a triplet. As you can see each factor does not appear three times in the prime factorization of the given number 400. So we say that 400 is not a perfect cube. Next we discuss smallest multiple that is a perfect cube. Let's consider the number 72. Prime factorization of 72 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3. Now let's make the triplets of these prime factors. So as you can see we just get one triplet and this is one pair 3 into 3. This is not a triplet. Thus the 72 is not a perfect cube. Now for 72 to be a perfect cube each factor should appear 3 times. But as you can see the factor 3 is appearing just 2 times. So to make 72 a perfect square we need to multiply the 72 by 3 so that we have that each factor appears 3 times. Thus we say 72 into 3 is equal to 216. Now this 216 is a perfect cube. Thus we say smallest natural number by which 72 should be multiplied to make a perfect cube. is 3. Next we discuss cube roots. We know that finding the square root of a number is the inverse operation of squaring. So we say that finding cube root is the inverse operation of finding cube. Like we have 3 cube is equal to 27. So we say 
क्यूब रूट ऑफ ट्वेंटी सेवन इज थ्री नाउ दिस सिंबल इज यूज टू डिनोट द क्यूब रूट सो वी से क्यूब रूट ऑफ ट्वेंटी सेवन इज थ्री नाउ वी शेल डिस्कस क्यूब रूट थ्रू प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन मेथड कंसिडर द नंबर टू वन सिक्स नाउ प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन ऑफ टू हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटीन इज गिवन एज टू इंटू टू इंटू टू इंटू थ्री इंटू थ्री इंटू थ्री नाउ लेट्स मेक ट्रिपलेट्स ऑफ दीज प्राइम फैक्टर्स सो दिस इज वन ट्रिपलेट एंड दिस इज द अदर ट्रिपलेट नाउ क्यूब रूट ऑफ टू वन सिक्स इज गिवन बाय टेकिंग आउट वन फैक्टर आउट ऑफ ईच ट्रिपलेट सो फ्रॉम दिस ट्रिपलेट वी टेक आउट अ टू मल्टीप्लाइड बाय थ्री फ्रॉम दिस ट्रिपलेट so we get that cube root of 216 is equal to 2 into 3 that is 6 so this is how we can find the cube root of any number through prime factorization method next we have cube root of a cube number if we know that a given number is a cube number then we have the following method which we will discuss now let's consider the number 17 Five six one six. Now this is a cube number. Let's try and find out the cube root of this number. Now in the first step, we consider the number, and then we make groups of three digits starting from the rightmost digit of this number. So we get this is one group, and this is the other group, and as you can see, each group is of three digits. Now, in the next step, we consider this first group, that is six one six. Now, this group would give us the ones digit, or you can say units digit of the required cube root. As you can see, that the units digit of this group is six, and we know that if a number Ends in six, then the cube root of that number would have six as the unit digit. So we say that one's digit, or you can say the unit digit of the required cube root, that is the cube root of the given number, is six. Now let's consider the other group, that is. One seven five. We already know that five cube is one twenty five, and six cube is two one six. Also, we know that one seventy five is less than two one six, and it is greater than one twenty five. Now, to get the tens digit of the required cube root, we consider the smaller number out of these two numbers, and we know that one twenty five. Is smaller than two one six, and as you can see that the ones digit of one twenty five is five. We take this as the tens digit of the required cube root. So we have tens digit of the required cube root is five. Now we have got the ones digit of the required cube root, which is six, and the tens digit of the required cube root, which is five, and so we say that cube root of the number one seven five six one six is equal to fifty six. This is how we find the cube root of a perfect cube or a cube number. So this completes the session. Hope you have understood the concept of cubes and cube roots.